This is a true story about an ordinary man who uses a quite unordinary skill in an even more unordinary situation to save the world from utter destruction, which would have been extraordinarily bad. An ordinary Pacific Islander with an unordinary psychotic mind who calls himself Lex Lugie would have caused this devastation. Watch this unordinary film and see exactly how it happened on an ordinary autumn night and day and night and day. You get the point. I'll never catch this brown boy. It's crap, man. I'm sure it's out well. He flips, brown boy. I'll get you yet, Lex Luge. Ugh. Got some bad news, lazy boy. What is it, Scrap Man? Lex Luge escaped the clasp of my crutches again. You mean the, uh, <laughs> the grasps of your clutches? <laughs> Whatever. He was this close. I was just about to catch him when he hawked a loogie. Jumping jollipies! A loogie? Yes! He knows my only weakness. Damn! Then we're gonna have to be extra careful in trying to catch him. You are! Someone is trespassing! Quick! To the security monitor! You were right, Sprat Man! Thieves, mobsters, the time has come to destroy Spot Man. You mean Sprat Man? <laughs> <laughs> Back. 
think so.
Retarded. You'll never catch me, Sprout Boy. That Sprout Man, and I sure as hell will. <laughs> Eat flim, Sprout Boy. I'll get you yet, Lex Lugay. Lex Lugay is going to be much harder to catch than I had originally thought. Not only does he know my only weakness, but he's much faster and smarter than I had originally thought. Fuck me, <laughs> shit. <laughs> it turns out that Lex Lugie... Shit. <laughs> it turns out that Lex Lugie is going to be much harder to catch than I had thought. Not only does he know my only weakness, but he's much smarter and faster than I had ever imagined. I had actually had him this time, and he still managed to get away. I guess I'm just gonna have to resort to more extreme measures next time. No more Mr. Fuck, nice I killed Damn the camera! It. I was so-
stop you evil clown, you! Unhand the girl and nobody gets hurt! But I'm the girl and that's my dog. Wait, dude, I don't... Good morning, sunshine. You're not dead yet. I figured it'd be fitting to torture you a little bit first, and uh, I'm gonna leave you and the good doctor alone for a little while. Good morning, Stratman. I am Dr. Arab. Now that we know each other's names, let's have a little fun. We won't be needing any anesthesia. I'll be fine without it. Shit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I have to square it.